a go go comic! What the fuck? Okay, so. I was, uh, you know. I was, uh, doing, do, do, doing some stuff offline here, you know. I'm checking stuff out, going out of bounds, you know, checking things and trying to do some sequence breaky stuff with like doing things out of order and I was wondering to myself, you know, I wonder if the sign and barrel teacher have their models out of bounds somewhere before you see the intro cutscene toward the Desire Temple. So here I am just sort of, you know, looking around and I, I come across this bush and it's like, oh yeah, I think you can search from the other end like whenever you're in bounds. But I thought to myself, why can I search out of bounds, like why would that trigger still work? So I decided to investigate it and as soon as I saw what I picked up, I um I save stated and this is a Google comic. This is a Gogo -Go comic. There's a random Gogo -Go comic out of bounds. Now that's pretty cool in and of itself. But then after I made the save state before I started this, I kept it going. And uh I don't even know what that is yet. And a weekly comic and a monthly comic. So one of each comic type and I don't even know what this is. So I've got to find out. Oh my god. It's over. I think that's the lifetime pass. That's I think this is the lifetime pass. That's 9,800 zenny. That's 2,000 more than the space banana. Why is this out here? It's over. It's over. Monk. Monk. Okay. Okay, I need to go make sure that that's exactly what this is. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's over. Are you fucking kidding me? I got stuck here. Right, okay. You know what? This is fine because... Now I'm gonna go and make sure that that is always there. So let, let's do this. I'll even show how I got to it and everything. This is the beginning of Worthy Desire Temple. This is in a, a file where I've already done some stuff in it, but you'll see if I go here, it triggers the cutscene and everything, right? Oh god, my heart. I need to calm down. This is... If, the, if this really is what I think it is, then it's, it's just... it's over. This is even better than the Space Banana. I don't know what that thing is doing out there, and I hope that that's, I hope that isn't just random. It, it couldn't be. It's an interactable with a string of four items. If this is true, this could save over 20 minutes on the speedrun. I would say, like, you never need to worry about money. You don't even need to do Invisible Man. This changes everything. Like, we don't need item duplication anymore. We don't need any of that. Well, we, we could, if, if it, you could, like, duplicate love items and you could, like, get some cool stuff out of that. Duplicating the same love item three times and giving that to Suzuki and having that somehow count as getting all three. But outside of that, it's over. Outside of that, this completely tears the biggest problem down with speedrunning Tulip, which is money. At least any percent. For any percent, it's money. This completely takes that, that just takes that issue and blasts it into the, the depths of, the, of space. I don't believe this. Like, how could something so useful just be there? So right, I just performed the glitch, you know, press um, on a PS3 controller or PS2 controller that's square and triangle at the same time to open up the menu while buffering a kiss with conductor. And then you have text up because you have text up, the game thinks you're in a conversation. As a result, nothing can interact with you, you can't get hit by residents, and loading, tr or like, transitions uh, won't trigger if you go over transition triggers like that. So, um, it would be much, it's much faster to go out this way than it is to go around. I can get rid of the text now, by the way. So, I gotta go out for a bit because I think that there's the train track thingy. Yeah, I, I think I just got past it. It goes out for a bit. So, you kind of gotta go around it. Okay. So, now I'm here. That's where the monk get, er, drives off on his bike. And here we are. There is a question mark in the back of here that's interactable out of bounds. It has a go-go comic, what is presumably the lifetime pass, and one of each of the other comic types. That to me screams like, like dev. Wait, there's more. No. 
it's over! <gasps> what? <gasps> There's more? <gasps> no! Why couldn't I have discovered this on stream? Why did I have to do it offline? It's infinite! I'm out of inventory space! This is the end. This is- Tulip is dead. It is dead, and it is also currently being revived. Like, it's- it's re it's reincarnating as we speak. There's more. That's infinite, I think. There seems to be at least one more there. So, that doesn't even matter. You don't need that much. Why would you ever need that much? Right, the question now is, how do we get back in bounds as fast as possible? Um... Right, well, there's an invisible wall there, that's annoying. Oh, you can just go down through that way, that's much faster. Right, you don't need to go up and around, you can go through that way. That's much better. Okay, we're fine, get down, just be careful in case I soft lock and get stuck. Uh, right, and we just go here, hit that trigger. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm heading right back to Long Life Town, and I'm going to try and sell this stuff to Cheap Hot. If this truly is what I think it is, I am going to start rerouting immediately tonight. And tomorrow, we are, I am doing a run on console. I thought I wasn't even going to do any percent on console again. But if this is what I think it is, and, and I can get the routes figured out in time for tomorrow, then it's over, dude. Like, I was testing out, like, stuff with the Love Inc. there. Like, completing the entire Love Inc. quest without triggering the intro. Which, huh? Wait, I I'm confused now. Wait a minute. Let me just save state here. I didn't try. I just realized I should have triggered that and I didn't. What? What? That was there. You saw me trigger it whenever I set up the thing. What? Those have to be like some kind of leftover dev triggers and they're not messing around. Oh, they're not messing. Wait a minute. Let me go talk to the teacher. Like, wh what if that's like a dev trigger that just like, alright, this is for testing, here you go, here's all the items. Yeah, because I haven't even triggered this yet. So, what if it does that? And also, what if that's like a, a complete, like, everything trigger? Because otherwise, why would that cutscene have disappeared? Of all the things! Like, a weird, like, infinite thing of the best, I, like, the, the, like, the best shit in the game. I was not expecting. No! It's over! That's a dev trigger! Do I... Okay. No, this is even bigger than I thought. Oh, this is even bigger than I thought. Oh, uh, there I was like, oh, the money's nice. The money's nice. <laughs> Why did I have to discover this offline? I even said I wasn't going to stream today. And the one day I don't stream. This is the f like the fourth day since this has been discovered. Like the, the out of bounds text thing. He just gave me the love ink. And I have not even broken this. I haven't even gotten the wooden gong yet. That is an all around dev trigger. I am in disbelief that of all like the holy grail of tulip. The... the like, an item duplication glitch or the banana. All of it is just done. It's subverted now because there is apparently this. Now, I don't know if this is going to apply to everything, but I think this this has definitely done something. Because, once again, that cutscene at the start of Worldly Desire that makes these teachers appear here, might I add, is gone. So this is his intro cutscene, which you kind of have to see. I suppose you could uh, avoid it with an item, but it wouldn't be worth it because you have to get past it again on your way back to the train. Although, I don't know, I'll, th I'll worry about rooting later. So, if he gives me the paper, if this man right here gives me the paper immediately, it's over. Tulip is, is destroyed. It is under one R. Oh! I thought he... Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm not upset about that. If anything, I'm kind of happy, because that is a dev trigger, or whatever you want to call it, that is in the temple. 
So maybe that's what did it. Maybe there's another one hidden out here somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, this is what I mean. There's like a there's a bush here that's in binds that you can search. But for some reason, the, the devs, I guess, decided to put, you know, the holy grail of holy grails just behind there. Just in, in that little, uh, little tiny cluster of uh, bamboos fucking El Dorado, apparently. A handful of it. A handful of several El Dorados. I, I don't think this is going to affect anything. I, I do think that what I find only affects Worldly Desire Temple. But that still allows me to come, like, first of all, it, it completely annihilates the issue of money. Money is just gone. That's obvious. I shouldn't state, I don't need to state the obvious. But it also eliminates having to do all the stuff with Monk. The incense sticks, like running around and setting up the graves, all that. So this would already guarantee well under two hours. It's like, I just, I don't know what to feel right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm in shock. I am in, I am just in shock. And I'm also, once again, pissed that this, that the one day I decide not to stream, I find the thing that is going to just completely destroy this speedrun in the best way possible. Sell. 9,800. What did I tell you? That's the lifetime train pass. Which means if you use that, you never have to pay for your train. We already have so many comics that we probably wouldn't even need to worry about buying. Well, actually, we would, because we don't need this many comics. So I don't know how many of, of like those tr um, things we'd get in a run, like those triggers. But like, this is better than item duplication. Like, uh, outside of the possibility of duplicating love items, this is infinitely better than anything else, because we can just get, like... This, this is the second most expensive item in the game. The only thing that costs more than this is the computer, which you can only purchase. And I thought you could only purchase this, but apparently not. And uh, the free comics alongside it are um, perfect, because that means that in any percent, whenever we go to War of the Desire Temple for the first time, we don't have to backtrack for comics to Long Lifetown. So it, it's like this was meant to be. This is more than, like, what you could hope for. Th th this is more ridiculous than almost any of the theories I've had, and it's a thing. Why did they leave it there? And I found the exact right glitch to come across this, an out-of-bounds glitch. An out-of-bounds glitch that's caused by, you know, text storage of a sort, being able to move around while text is on screen. And then the game can't activate any... It can't activate anything, it can't activate transitions, you can't interact with anything. So then once you're, like, out of bounds, there you go. Oh my god. It's over. It is just over. It, like, I... I'm too shocked to, 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 like, revel in this. Like, I wanna, like, have a party. <laughs> I wanna, like, look at all this money I have. I can throw a party. <laughs> I've got the most zenny of anybody in the in the freaking tulip verse. What in the world? And now we can just buy computers like it's nobody's business. There you go. I can buy two or three more if I want. Well, actually no, I can buy one more, but still. Two like getting that twice and there you go. Computer like hit get two of those things. You have two of each kind of uh, comic and you have enough for the computer plus more. It's so fucking over. And once again, it's it's over in like the rebirth sense. Like this game has just died. Excuse me? <laughs> Fortune teller. Listen. Oh, and now he's telling me about how to get in the bath properly. Yes, go right and then left. Which, uh, oh yeah, of course, and that also once again proves the thing, it was just after 4 o'clock. Apparently Fortune Teller is consistent, he, he talks to you 100% of the time if you go between that tunnel between uh, 4 and 5 o'clock. I'm gonna go see Mr. Suzuki and see what he has to say about all this. Okay, that scared me. That cutscene starting scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, no way. Even if it did, I would still have to hand in the love items in order to get the good love letter. Or else I couldn't complete the final area of the game. Unless it magically gave me a good love letter. I'll uh, go back and double check, just to see. And then I'll go to Suzuki. Right, okay, there's no option to make the good love letter. That's a, in an interesting sign. So, here is the love ink that I really shouldn't have. Now, this is interesting, because I performed a, a glitch with this. Or, well, rather, whenever I, um, I mentioned before, I tested out 
getting the love ink and even giving it to Suzuki without having triggered the first cutscene of Worldly Desire Temple in, in a different uh, in a different save state just earlier today, earlier this evening. This cutscene didn't happen. My dad didn't talk to me about it after I handed it in. Oh, wait, no. He's telling me about how the love letter pieces have been stolen. Even though I never saw that cutscene. So this is something that triggers after you see that cutscene. Right, right, right. Okay, I was I was incorrect then. So I guess you just don't... See, your dad doesn't talk to you about that whenever you hand in the love ink. He doesn't tell you anything. But he does whenever you see the opening cutscene of, of Worldly Desire Temple. And what's just as fascinating is, is there only one in Worldly Desire Temple? Or have they hidden them in other places? Maybe they did, and maybe they removed them. And just forgot to remove this one. <laughs> Hasn't affected here either. Didn't think it would. Right. I guess it might be worth checking one or two things, though. I don't need you, banana. I don't need you. You're second rate now, buddy. Oh, the camera's a bit messed up. Ah, uh, it's, it, it's actually, it's still moving with me. But because I kissed Belle and she's at a weird angle there next to the uh, the temple, it's kind of weird looking. But right, so now uh, we did it in the other area instead of with conductors. So now up there is loaded, but down here is deloaded. And even with this being deloaded, this should still be here. Because interactable stuff still appears. And it would seem that it is. Yep. Here we are. More of this stuff. It is definitely there. Okay, no, he doesn't give you double. Even if you hit those triggers again. So that is, that is fascinating. That would have been crazy if he gave us more. Because if he did, then we might not even, like, an item duplication gets rich would have been completely pointless. Because then we could have just got three from him. But no, it doesn't seem like it's actually a thing. So that means it is time to go to the factory. And see if doing what I did changed anything. Odds are it didn't. Okay, no, nothing is different here. Which means... Either they left... They very stupidly, although I'm very grateful of it, left a, uh, a dev trigger in Worldly Desire Temple specifically for it, which makes sense because, you know, it's an interactable within its area. So that makes sense, and I guess they just goofed, but you never know. There could be another one just outside, or somewhere just outside of bounds here. And with that, I think I'm going to leave this here. There's more glitch hunting I could do. I didn't finish doing what I wanted to check out for the day, but I don't even know if I should. I think I'm going to put it on the back burner. I am going to start rerouting this now. And uh, this is huge. This is... I mean, I, I really like this because I, I was worried that that was just going to, like, tick every, like, like raise every flag in the game and just have it be so that the entire speedrun is getting that and then picking up the three love items and finishing. So it, it, it's a bit more interesting that it just does it just does away with World of Desire Temple. And that will save time in both categories. Um, I mean, maybe this might call for a new category? I don't know. Having, like, any percent no out of bounds or something for all the the runs that have been done that won't be using this this uh very very abusable dev trigger thingy something like that like no no oob or maybe glitchless since outside of this um out of bounds glitch there are no glitches in true loop none, none that i'm aware of anyway outside of like things like disc errors which can occur but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls chews and lips um <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, I discovered this out of bounds like four days ago, and I've been searching like a madman. I found Suzuki early, and earlier today, I actually figured out how to do Suzuki early and take out a lot of the RNG. Like, I think all of it, and also like consistently do it and make it really fast. Um, so, like, Suzuki early is now a thing. So, we have that, and now this. I don't know, like, I, I haven't tested any of this on console yet, although from what I've already heard, the glitch does work on console, so as long as we can avoid, say, perhaps console-specific crashes, 
and hopefully there's no version differences, you know, between English and Japanese in, in, in any of these regards, which hope, yeah, I really hope there isn't um, any, any version differences in that regard. This, uh, this run just got a lot faster. Like, any percent just got a whole lot faster. A ridiculous amount faster, you have no idea, because the biggest problem in any percent was money. It meant you had to go out of your way for more kisses, it meant more RNG, and it meant loads of stress. This completely removes that. I mean, comics are probably still going to be annoying, but outside of that, like, we're set. And all kisses? You still don't need to, oh, well, actually, no, I'm wrong. Now that I think about it, because, I mean, we're probably going to do that in all kisses, because it's a really handy amount of money. And it, it, it could come in handy to alleviate some money worries, at the very least. But uh, in all kisses, you still need to get the wooden gong. You have to do the entire story stuff of Worldly Desire Temple to get the wooden gong to kiss the monk. So in all kisses, you're still going to need the wooden gong. Which means that you can't just get the love ink and call it a day. So, all kisses... I mean, it'll definitely be a bit different, because money will not be a concern, which opens up other rooting possibilities, but it's not going to allow us to skip the, the entire like the entire story in Worldly Desire, in all kisses, simply because of needing to kiss Monk. But ladies and gentlemen, Tulip has died. It has died in our arms this night. It has crumbled into fucking ash. And now it's, 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 it's fucking back from the dead. It, it never really left, but it's back. I don't believe this. There has to be a catch. I, I bet you there's going to be like a version difference issue or, you know, maybe like crashes that don't occur on emulator or something. I bet there, there, there's probably going to be something like that, but here's hoping that there's not. So, thank you all for watching. This is by far the biggest thing that, like, discovering this glitch was the biggest thing I'd ever discovered, ever. It's like the only thing, the only, tr like, true glitch that I'd ever discovered. I know this is, like, the biggest thing, like, this changes any percent to the utmost degree. Sub 2 hours is guaranteed now. Now, to be fair, you know, I'm going on and rambling and I'm not going to test any further. There could, yet, there could yet be unseen problems. Like, for all I know, this hitting this trigger could affect loads of other things in the game or even just in worldly desire so i don't know there could still be more to that more consequences to hitting that trigger or maybe even more um applications for hitting that uh, i say hitting that trigger i mean you know interacting with that random interactable thing it is just we, we are done here we are done here i am gonna start rerouting I'm gonna figure this out, and this game has, in terms of any percent at the very least, profoundly changed this night. And we'll see what'll happen with all kisses, we'll see if there's any other um, unknown side effects to doing this. There might be, there might not be. But we'll find out. We'll find out. And uh, for now, that'll be all, and I'll see you next time.